What's up, everybody? It's Trevor here for the King's Speech Podcast, premiering movies I like. So in quarantine, you got to watch movies. You got to keep your headspace even. So you watch movies you like. So this is Movies I Like. First up in movies I like is White Men Can't Jump. So I love White Men Can't Jump because it's a hoops film and I love hoops. It's about summer hoops. And since we're not about to have a summer, it's really enjoyable to watch that movie and imagine what it would be like hooping in the summer as a kid or as a grown ass man if we were allowed to and if the mayor didn't take down all the hoops from all the parks. But it's strange times, right? So in movies I like, we're going to go through three things that I love about the movie and three things that I absolutely hate or just find incredibly stupid about the movie. So in White Man Can't Jump, of course, it stars Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson. They star as the black and white duo that was really popular in the 80s and the 90s. They're funny. One's white. One's black. One has a different culture. One has different culture. One listens to music that goes like that. Bop, 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 bop. One listens to music that goes like da-da-da-da-da-da. So things that I love about White Men Can't Jump. Summer hoops. Like I said before, I love summer pickup games. Um, that was my thing. In the parks was my NBA. In some parks, I was Michael Jordan. In some parks, I was J.R. Smith in game one of the finals. Another thing that you have to love about White Men Can't Jump, Rosie Perez. Her presence, her face, her voice, and of course, those spectacular sweater pillows that she manages to pop out in great spectacular fashion in almost every movie that she's in. If there's a movie with Rosie Perez and her sweater pillows are featured, I am giving that two thumbs up. Actually, maybe three thumbs up. Another great thing, the last great thing about White Man Can't Jump is that they had real hoopers in the movie. They had NBA All-Star Marcus Johnson in the movie. He played Ray, who got upset, went to his car, got a gun because he got hustled by Sidney and Billy Hoyle. And then there's also Dwayne Martin, who was in Above the Rim with Tupac. And he just shows he can ball in every movie that he's in that he has to ball in. But he also showed he can't win the big game without Shep on his team. Three things I didn't like about White Man Can't Jump. Wesley Snipes was moving around like an NBA 2K glitch. He did his best to make it look like he hooped, but we know Wesley Snipes doesn't hoop because he was moving like he had like something stuck in his spine and he really just couldn't roll off the ball. Woody Harrelson did him dirty in that movie, and that's very, very uh, underrated. Another thing, the ending proved what most men rarely like to admit, is that if you want to have a better and happy life, you should probably listen to the woman. In this situation, Billy decides to help out Sydney on one last hustle, and Gloria's not playing with it. Rosie Perez's character, Gloria, just says, fuck it, you're going to like screw over my life. You're not going to screw over my life anymore. I'm going to peace out. Me and the sweater pillows, we're out. So last thing that I hated about White Man Can't Jump, Gloria left, yeah, because, you know, Billy was on his fuck shit. But the reason why Billy was on his fuck shit and had these people chasing him and, and trying to get his money back is because Gloria got a car that she didn't want to pay for. And that's why they were chasing Billy down for the, for the money. Like, Billy stayed down, supported her, and she bounced. That's not cool. That's not cool, ladies. Not at all. This has been the first edition of Movies I Like. Uh, next up, we're going to go through the three things I love about a movie and the three things I hate about the next movie that I watch here on quarantine. All right. Peace out.